Both of these photon lights come with this alligator clip, but I've removed it from both models. This one is a photon micro light Roman numeral two. This one is a photon freedom, which I believe was the third introduced one. So it's sort of like a photon Mark three in a sense. The difference is both have a temporary on by flashing, by pressing the button, and both also have a locked on mode. This one with a little switch, this one by holding it in for a few seconds, and when it flashes, you then are in locked mode when you turn it on. Uh, both have the, uh, you can purchase them with the covert nose, although I only have the covert nose on the Photon Freedom in this demonstration. The Photon Freedom also introduces some uh, other variations that we don't have on the Mark II. Uh, it has a variable lightness setting, so you can turn it up and make it as bright as you want or as dim as you want, which is especially important for preserving night vision to be able to use it in a dim mode, much more important than making it red, which a lot of people think is all that's necessary for night vision preservation. That's not true. Uh, other differences, in addition to having that, you have different strobe modes. You have a sort of slow strobe. Let's see if I can uh, replicate all of these quickly and easily for this demo. Faster strobe, very flash strobe, uh, which is sort of like a bicycle light strobe and also very, very sort of attention getting, uh, which is good in a survival situation if you're trying to be uh, noticed. Uh, past the fast strobe, you also have a uh, SOS mode where it'll flash SOS continuously until the battery is dead, which will be hours and hours. So this is good so you can aim it at civilization, start flashing SOS uh, while you're s uh, spending time setting up your camp, getting ready for uh, nighttime, for instance. This is my shirt folded loosely on my desk with what looks to be a pen in its front pocket. Let's zoom in closer. Even under very close scrutiny, it still looks like a pen, and that's because it's made from a pen. But in truth, it's my Photon Freedom flashlight with my modification attached. This serves many functions. One is as a pocket clip, so you can attach it to your pocket shirt pocket as you're working on equipment, much like a doctor would pull a pen light out of their shirt pocket. It gives you sort of a quick, quick immediate access to your light for day-to-day uh, -day tasks. Another aspect is that it's a button guard. You can't press the turn on button while it's in place. You pull it straight off just like you would a pen cap, and now you have a fully unmodified stock version of the Photon Freedom. But when you connect it, it acts as a button guard. I find that to be quite a bit more reliable than the electronic lock which Photon has built into their light. Another application, you can take a uh, baseball cap, the brim of a baseball cap. And if you attach it to the baseball cap brim, you have a nice little headlamp. Here it is being used as an impromptu headlamp. You can turn it on or off at will. I have a red filter in this model. We'll talk about that in the next segment. It just gives you a nice way to hold on to your light in a hands-free manner so your other two hands can work on your equipment uh, while you have a light shining aiming at your uh, task, which is nice. So here it is in a close-up view. Uh, with the cap on, it still preserves the covert aspect <clears throat> in that it has no side light. Uh, it's on right now, but you can't tell if you view it from the side. It's only if you're in front of it that you can see the red beam. The beam color is adjustable, and that's another aspect of what the uh, pen cap does. Besides being a color filter holder, it's also a battery compartment extraction tool, uh, for lack of a better term, and that's because I keep alternate color filters in the battery compartment. Here, I'll show you that. There's a green one. Looks rather irregular, but they don't need to be perfectly round. Uh, and you extract, you insert the new ones by pushing out the center.
puck. This is made from uh, Bic pens. This variety, they're called round stick, and they come in different colors, even clear, clear body, but they're all called the round stick. And I've taken one of them, cut it with a razor, inserted little pucks, which are made out of the pen body. The, uh, the pen body fits into this size, so I have cut sections of the body. Uh, there's one puck, you then put in your color filter of choice. You then put in the extra secondary puck. I have blackened this one with a uh, Sharpie pen to keep it uh, less reflective internally. And now you have a green filter. So let's put the battery cover back on, which you can just snap into place. And now we have a green, green flashlight. So you can change whatever color you want. The uh, filters I'm using are, uh, I'll show what they're made by. This is the company that makes them. I buy these at a art supply store. Uh, you have their name, address, and telephone number, uh, and their web address, that is, uh, if you want to buy it. And they come in various colors. This is orange. Uh, red is good for night preservation night vision preservation. Uh, so that's, that's what the different color filters do. Here's a really quick tutorial of how to manufacture these yourself. All you need is one big pen, a uh, little filter disc, and a sharp knife. I'm not going to sabotage these two pens, so I'm going to show how to cut these using an already cut pen. First, you take one of the pen tops and you cut off the top so that all that you have left is just, just that, uh, just the clip part. You then take the body of the pen like such. And I'm going to show on a body that I've already been cutting up. Uh, this was actually from a, a Marriott Hotel pen, uh, but it's the same pen apparently. And what you do is you, you cut little two little puck sections using a razor knife. I'm going to show off my little homemade utility knife. And you want to cut two round pucks that are half the size, half the size of this length. Uh, so there's one. Uh, you would make another. You can blacken them if you want with a Sharpie pen, although it's not entirely necessary. Whoops. Uh, you stick one puck into the body. You push it down into place. You can use the uh, the flashlight actually is your puck for pushing it down in there. Oh, we had an extra little section already in there. So you stick it down into place. You then put in your color filter of choice. Now you have a choice. You can either stick in your puck. This is the one that has been darkened with the Sharpie pen for stealth application so it doesn't reflect on the interior to help preserve the, uh, the covert aspect of it. Or if you take the pen body, you can stick the pen body into the caps like that. Here, I'll show with this one. And now you can make a light stick. Uh, you can, for instance, use a, this would be a red, a red night stick, uh, or if you remove that, just a, a white, a white, sort of like a, uh, what do you call it, a, a, a glow stick, but it's electric. Uh, here, I'll turn off the light, show a little bit more of what, what that's like. So this would be a good way to, for instance, if you wanted to signal somebody or uh, mark, mark the entrance to your tent. So if you walk away from your uh, tent at night and you need to find it in the dark or to, you know, read something, uh, it acts sort of almost like a, a little mini lantern. Psh. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.